We are going to be making Tang Yuan. This is usually made at the end of Chinese New Year because it lasts 15 days and tomorrow is the last day. So let's get started. So first we're going to make the filling. And you need to um, like toast the sesame seeds for about 10 minutes. It should smell burnt. Next we're going to blend the sesame seeds. So carefully tip it in to your blender. So now we're going to add in some olive oil. One tablespoon will do. Now we are going to add in some uh, um, walnuts. All the measurements will be in the description. So we add some agar nectar or syrup. Both exactly the same, I think. Then blend them. Now we're going to make them into small balls so that when we make the skin for it you can just easily put the skin and wrap it around like a sandwich or something. If you use about this much and then roll it into a ball, that's the right size, about 6 to 7 grams. Yay, the filling's done! And now we can start making the skin. So we're going to do two different types of skins. One is a type of green colour and this is dark green. We used spinach and water. We need quite a bit of water. And then you just blend it. Now we're going to start making the orange skin colour. So we're going to use sweet potatoes and then the same method. Water they blend. So this is glutinous rice flour and this is brown sugar. Remember, all the measurements will be in the description below. So just pour into a bigger bowl. So we added in our blended sweet corn and it should become breadcrumbs. Next we're going to add in a bit of water. Gradually add water till you kind of like got a doughy texture, like it sticks all together. So far we've got like a crumbly dough texture. This is about the texture we want. It, it becomes nice and soft and then all the colour just comes in. We've got a nice and pale orange here, you can see. Or you could call it a deep yellow. Our orange skin is all done. We're going to start making the green skin. So let's get our spinach and um, colour out. Then just bit by bit add in a, a bit of the colouring. And then you just want to kind of like mix it together. As I explained earlier, we make this out of spinach, blend it, and then add water, blend it again, and it should look like this. And then we have to use um, um, this filter thing to like it get rid of all the spinach if we pour it in. This is the thing we use to filter the spinach. So this is the green one, a slightly smaller size because we used less flour. Done the green skin, so the next step is to roll them out <coughs> like long sausages. So far we've just got one long fat one. Well now we have rolled out our sausages, we are going to cut them into small pieces, like about six grams. I mean 16 grams! <laughs> so we've rolled all these into small bottles and I wanted to show you how to make a family of small ducks. So here I made a baby duck and a mama duck. If you want to make this then just listen to this. So for this you need two little sesame seeds for the eyes and you need some of your dough and then that's really it so first we need to roll out the body
really cute, right? So now we're going to add in the filling. So one is going to be chocolate, one is going to be the black sesame. So I'm going to put in the chocolate because I really like chocolate. So yeah, you just need to put like a few chocolate chips in. That's what we're using. You don't have to use chocolate chips if you want to use chocolate though. You don't need this one. And there we are. Next I'm going to show you how to do the sesame one filling. So you need to kind of like shape it into a hat. Like a ball or a hat. So it look a tiny bit like this. Then you're going to want to add in the sesame ball. And kind of like just a cone around. Try not stretch it because then sometimes it might break. So just squish it in, squish, squish, squish the dough around. Something like this. Then you just want to make it round because you don't want people seeing it like all oh, got meat and lines in it. So just roll it until it's nice and smooth like this. Now we have got four of them. By the way, I'm going to show you a family of ducklings I made. Cool, right? We decided to do some pink ones because we had too much filling. We used it like this beetroot red, but it comes out pink. I made this snowman, but it doesn't look like a snowman. My mum said it looked like a Japanese doll. I drew something like a star on one of them. It has chocolate in. Yay! We have finished doing all of our colours. The more colours, the more festive. Now they're ready to boil. Woohoo! So, we have got this on boil. It's got a tiny bit of brown sugar. You can put more sugar if you like, depending on your own taste. So, one by one, just splat them in. <laughs> so you can boil them another day, like, you can keep them for tomorrow or today. We're just going to cook enough for today. Yay! We finished! Now we can try out them. I'm going to choose the pink one. This is what it looks like inside. So, it's the sesame paste one. It's so yummy! Bye everyone, and I hope you really like this video. Please comment down below, like, and subscribe.